Hi friends, welcome to the 10th video of pharmacovigilance series. In the previous video, we discussed the risk management process. And in this video, we shall talk with Amrita on the topic of labeling. Welcome Amrita. Thank you. Labeling sounds like something which has to do with the labels that we find on products. Yes. Which provides certain information about the products. So how best can this be understood in the context of drug safety? Labeling is the process of including information which is approved by authorities on the use of the product. Okay. This information must be consistent with the relevant product license. Mm -hmm. The information on the labels are based on extensive clinical research which indicates safety and efficacy of products in humans. Okay, got it. So what all information should be present on the medicine labels? Labels on any medicine includes the name of the medicine, doses and administration, clinical pharmacology, indications and usage, details of any adverse reaction, mm -hmm. contraindications, okay. warnings, precautions and so on. Okay. Let us understand this with an example of a good label. Okay. You can see here name of the medicine, manufacture date, expiry date, MRP, chemical constitution, dose of medicine, mm -hmm. minimum dosing intervals, yes, contraindications, storage instructions. Right. So how can we summarize the benefits of labeling? Well, labeling is very useful in many ways. It provides basic information such as name of the medicine, manufacture date, expiry date, okay. address of the manufacturer, ingredients, etc. Mm -hmm. It educates the user regarding its consumption, such as how to take medicine, whether it should be swallowed or chewed. Okay. It also instructs about how to store the medicine. Mm -hmm. A good label also carries warning about possible risks and hazards. Okay. In case of food and medicine, the label should provide contraindications and possible side effects. Mm -hmm. Labeling is useful in case someone wants to report about an adverse event related to a medicinal product. Okay. Because labeling contains all the information such as contact point of reporting, mm -hmm. suspected product name, Okay. Etc. Okay. Labels also serves as the basis for prescribing of the medicine mm -hmm. and it also plays an important part in advertising and promotional activities. Okay. So how does labeling contribute in pharmacovigilance? Label of a medicinal product provides all the relevant information regarding a particular medicine. Thus correct labeling is helpful for prescribers in prescribing appropriate medicine and thus in ensuring the safe and rational use of medicines. Labels are supposed to be changed immediately if any change is established in existing safety information of the medicine. Thank you Amrita. Thank you. So this gives us a very good insight into how labels are important in the context of pharmacovigilance. Friends, this brings us to the end of the 10th video, which is also the final video of Pharmacovigilance series. We shall come back to you with the new series of videos on various different topics. Thanks for watching.